I, I can't help but try and be funny. And it just kind of seeps out of me. Even when I was at university and I was writing serious essays about Wittgenstein, I would crack a joke. I just couldn't help it. And so whatever I'm writing about, I find the ridiculous side or I see the irony. It doesn't necessarily have to be broad slapstick comedy. Sometimes just one witty remark or even just a juxtaposition that is really ironic is a way to, to make a, a, a point in a comedic way. And it just is something I don't think I could write without. I need comedy, it, it keeps me alive, and I think it keeps my writing alive. Becky has now featured in a number of books over a number of years, she's had a load of life events happen to her, and she's grown up. Um, and the way I like to think of it is that it's happened in a very natural way. There hasn't been a sudden change, but she's matured. Um, in the first book, she was single, she didn't know what job she should be in, she hadn't met Luke, and her life was really about her. And now, her life is sort of broadened out, she has a child, and I think that changes everybody. And she is sort of looking at her friends and family and feeling responsibility towards them. And I think in, in the most recent book, we really see a change from Becky in book one, who, when she got into trouble, ran home, practically hid under the bed, I mean, <laughs> almost, and, you know, sort of hid behind her parents. And now her parents are in trouble and they're turning to Becky and she is coming to the rescue. And so I think we can really see how she's, how she's evolved while staying the same Becky and coming up with crazy solutions, crazy schemes, you know, whipping up everybody into her team and come on everyone, we can do this, Becky's 11 in Las Vegas. Um, I mean, it's all a bit nuts. Uh, it's very Becky, but it comes out of a slightly more grown up Becky. I mean, having said that, it was always there. So in book one, what does she do? She sees that her neighbors are in trouble and her instinct is to fight for them, to expose a fraud that is stripping them of money and to fight Luke Brandon, in fact, on this very point. So it was always there, but I think it's developed. And I think that now that she has a child, she's sort of moved up the generations a bit. Her parents have moved up a generation and you do look at the world differently when you become a parent. So I think she is growing in a, in a satisfying way, but staying the Becky that we, that we know and love. I think Becky as a grandmother is some way off, but you know what? What an amazing grandmother Becky will be. And I think that I see her lifespan stretching ahead of her, just as I see my own lifespan stretching ahead of me. And I think she will be fabulous at every stage. Um, personally, I think she will be the best role model as an older person, senior shopaholic, will rock the world. So, you know, if I get that far, that is something to look forward to. And, you know, never mind about being uh, you know, a, a boring old granny who loses interest in life. She will gain interest in life and she will, you know, be quite extreme, I think. I look forward to it.